Okay. Take two. Okay, uh, I'm going to solve this problem. This problem was given to you uh, as quiz number eight. It will be given again in the finals. Okay, the conditions will be changed slightly, but the diagram will be the same, and the sim the solutions should be similar. So please review this. You will not be given any additional help during the finals. You will be on your own and there will be four problems to be solved okay so you have to work quickly all right so step number one is to create a free body diagram and a free body diagram are the vectors only labeled for each vector the directions of each vector are very important and you have to put the angle okay so here you have to decide on the drawing where is the point of equilibrium where you can solve this problem and that's here this is the point of equilibrium where all three forces converge and you put that here okay and then you put the first vector going down it is weight which we designate as FG okay and then perfectly horizontal there is the pole and then at exactly 40 degrees it's very important that your drawing look very similar but no triangles please okay so this is the cable this is a force of tension so F T there's no need to write cable because that's in the drawing that's what it is here in the forces it's just the force of tension okay to determine which way the force of compression is going look think logically if it were going that way this point would not stay still it would move it would move in this direction right because all the forces are pulling it in order for it to stay there something must be holding it back and that is this force here it's the force of compression okay it's holding it back all right so you have all of that and you say 40 degrees and that is the complete free body diagram. Okay, I'm going to put that in the bottom. I'll put that FC, 40 degrees. Okay, so that everybody can see it very clearly. All right. And now, what you are given, this is part of the given, right? So look at that. 2000 is this one. And you're perfectly welcome to put it right there so that it'll be easy to solve okay what are you required the minimum compressive force and the compressive force is FC and it is in Newtons oops sorry first FG what is the weight okay then FC is the compressive force so those are the things that you're being asked. FG, FC. So look, this is only a diagram with three forces. And in vectors, we studied up to five forces. So this is easy to do. Believe in yourself. The basis is Newton's law. The summation of forces along the x is equal to 0 because it's not moving along the x. The summation of forces along the y is equal to 0 because it's not moving. So no motion what does that mean at equilibrium and you don't have to write this down I'm just trying to explain the solution okay okay so here we'll start with the summation of forces along the Y is equal to zero and what are the Y forces FG is going down okay and what is balancing it off well there's a component here for this force we used to call it F T F T Y. But now we're just gonna say F T and it's not touching, right? This is not touching that. So sine 40 degrees. Okay. Which is what? Two thousand newtons times sine of sine of forty degrees. Okay? Have a calculator finally. So how do we do this? Clear. 40 sine times 
2000. Okay. And the answer is FG is equal to 10750. Okay? Newtons. Okay. And one of the questions were why did I put that line? Because I want you to realize that you have to do, you have to solve the x this one separate from that. And a lot of you are confusing your forces, so it's better to do it that way. For the second one, f of x is equal to 0. And what are the forces along the x? Well, you have fc, which is what we're looking for, right? And it's to be in newtons. That's letter b. And what is balancing it off? Well, there's a component of this along here, right? And it is touching, so it is ft cosine of 40 degrees. Okay, and that's the formula. So 2000 cosine, 2000 newtons cosine of 40 degrees. And what is that? Again, how do you do that? So you go 40 uh, cosine times 2000. Okay, and the answer is FC is equal to 2000. Okay, significant figures. Since you're given to the whole Newtons, your answer should be to the whole Newtons as well, right? Of course, you won't be able to buy a cable with just that kind of strength. You'll have to go to the nearest, I don't know, whatever the rating is, right? But you can't go below. This must be the, this is the maximum weight. So that means you cannot exceed that if you're using that strong a cable. And also your pole has to be, this is the minimum, so it has to be stronger than this. If it's weaker than this, it will collapse when you, when you try to put that weight in. Okay? Okay, hopefully that's clear.